Chiang Mai, the largest city of Northern Thailand, is a popular destination for travelers, being the access point for traveling to nearby mountainous towns and for its own cultural heritage. The historical capital of the old Lana Kingdom, Chiang Rai still retains its rich culture with temples, museums and even a fort in the city center. With its relatively laid back and calm atmosphere, one can explore and admire the city and its surroundings at their own pace. After arriving in Chiang Mai early in the morning, I decided to take a nice long walk to my hostel and was accompanied by young marathon runners as apparently there was a sports day in the nearby school. After filling up with a fulfilling breakfast, I decided to explore the city on foot, checking out local landmarks and temples for the day. With some delicious pad thai as dinner, it was time to call it a day and take in some good night's sleep for a long day tomorrow. A short ride away from Chiang Mai city center is Doi Inthanon National Park, one of the most popular national parks in Thailand with beautiful waterfalls, trails and hosting the highest mountain in Thailand, Doi Inthanon. After admiring Vachirathan waterfall and sampling some of the fruits grown by the local tribes, we then headed closer to the top of the mountain. So on the left, we have the King Pagoda. And on the right is the Queen Pagoda.
Right by the summit of the mountain is Ankar Nature Trail, a scenic 340 meters loop broad walk trail where you could walk through the beautiful moss covered forest. The trail takes around 20 to 30 minutes to walk. Located in the forests of Doik Angka, these are some of the highest forests in Thailand and home to the largest species of moss found anywhere in the world. Along the way, you could also spot bright red rhododendron flowers and green-tailed sunbird found only in Doi Intanon National Park. After warming up on the shorter trail, it was time to head on for the Kumepan Nature Trail, a 3km narrow trail passing through a dense rainforest with streams and waterfall along the way, with tall yet fragile trees towering over us. After a short while, the trail opens up to a wide open valley with a 360 view of the beautiful landscape around us. It felt surreal as if among the clouds looking over the valley and taking in the incredible scenery. The route was covered with plenty of flowers and vegetation and I was quite impressed with how well it had been preserved and maintained. It takes around 2 to 3 hours to complete the trail and this is only accessible in the dry season from November to May so if you are here during this time of the year I would highly recommend you to go on this trail.
After having lunch and trying out the locally brewed tea and coffee, it was time to head back to Chiang Mai to check out the Sunday market for some delicious street food. This covers my trip in Chiang Mai so if you have enjoyed this video please make sure to like and subscribe to help me out and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.